Hmm. Oh, hi, it's uh, Kip K, back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Well, in our never-ending quest to provide you with alternative ways of acquiring that important surveillance data you are looking for, let me present you with a covert wireless listening device from Make, Volume 16. Let's build it. To make the covert wireless listening device is four components. You'll need a stereo amplified listener. Mine was from Radio Shack. You'll also need a small wireless FM transmitter, a small device that can pick up FM, and also a AA battery holder. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the boards from both the amplified listener and from your wireless FM transmitter. So take apart the cases and remove the screws and remove both boards because we're going to need to save some space. The amplified listener that I picked up has two microphones so we need to extend the wires on those microphones. So unsolder the wires from the board and then unsolder the two wires from each microphone and extend those about six inches for both microphones. Then we'll want to do the same thing for the power lines for both the FM transmitter and also for our amplified listener so that they will go to our AA battery holder. Be sure to use heat shrink tubing wherever you're making your connections so nothing touches and shorts out. So here's how all of this works. The amplified listener's two microphones will pick up the sound and that'll be sent to the FM transmitter. And then the FM transmitter will transmit that sound over a specified FM frequency. There's both a high and low FM frequency selector on my FM transmitter, so you'll want to test this out in your area and make sure there's no radio station in any of those frequencies and that you're hearing sound coming from the microphones. The original project called for putting all of this inside of a carved out book. Well, I decided to try something a little bit different and use a VHS tape. So I took all the screws out of the tape, disassembled it, took the tape out, and uh, completely gutted this VHS tape. And to make room for all three components that will be inside of it, I used the old Dremel and cut away all the interior plastic, leaving just pretty much the screw hole so I could put it back together. I also drilled two small holes in the end of the case, uh, one on the far side, which is where one microphone will go, and the other one at the recording tab area where the other microphone will go. I hot glued everything in place and used the two reel holes on the bottom of the VHS tape so I could access both power switches for the FM transmitter and also for my wireless listener. Now it's time to put the cover back on and reassemble it with the screws and stick it in the VHS sleeve. This covert wireless listening device is now ready to pick up your secret surveillance and not many people are going to mess with a VHS tape these days. So that's how to make a covert wireless listening device. I'll see you next time with another weekend project.